All right, good evening, Kenneth Tortoise Capital Nightly Strategy Podcast for October 7th, 2024. Um, this was a uh, little flashcard we built during the coaching session yesterday. Uh, so for those of you in the coaching program, take a look at the uh, Sunday Cohort 3. We had a really good discussion about how to use the size of yesterday's range to determine if today is going to be trading inside of that range or waiting for a breakout of that range. And we're using a uh, an analysis of the range stat and determining how uh, how big yesterday's range was compared to the range stat. And that tells us if we can reasonably achieve our two to one uh, trade frame. We also spend a good amount of time talking about swing trading one day at a time using this particular model of a three day, 30 minute uh, bars that allows us to uh, focus on the extreme volatility and the opening and closing 30 minute sessions to reduce volatility at lunchtime. And then the morning and afternoon session in which there's sort of a, uh, the regular daily move is occurring. And this allowed us uh, to conceptualize how to do that and to be adaptive each and every day as we trade the markets. Uh, we'll shift to the sniper trades of the day today. And uh, we'll take a look at, uh, this is EWW on 10-minute uh, ten, uh, ten charts. So Mexico. Sorry about that. EWW on 10 minutes. This is yesterday's close. This was the gap down opening. This is the OR10. So we're ready to go long from here or short from there. This is the uh, three-day anchored VWAP. That's the 10-day anchored VWAP as price targets in both directions. And uh, what we got was a breakout to the upside. There's our standard risk box. It rolls over. Uh, after crossing the Bollinger Band mean, we take the dragon skin exit on the way back down to lock in 1R. When it breaks through the PSAR, we short standard risk box. It grinds around a little bit and then uh, begins to collapse. We pick up another 2R before it, it uh, bottoms out around 3 p.m. and then gives us a 1, 2, 3 exit for an additional 2R. So that's 3R in the usual way with standard trading rules with EWW on 10-minute charts. Bread and butter. This one is DIA, uh, our 10-minute chart. This is the Dow. Uh, here was Friday's run-up. Here was the gap down. There's your OR10. So we're ready to go long here or short there. There's your three-day anchored VWAP. There's your 10-day. This is a five-day high right here, the top of that box. So uh, what we get is breakout to the upside with a standard risk. Uh, it gives us a Fractional loss as it comes back and hits the VWAP. Starts grinding. When it breaks below um, the 1, 2, 3 entry and the PSAR has flipped and we're below the VWAP, we're short with a standard risk box. It grinds, now starts collapsing. We take the second position and we take the 1, 2, 3 exit near the close of the day. Standard work. So there's one unit of risk one two so this one earns about two r going from here down to here this one earns about one r uh, this was a maybe half of an r loss so we net 2.5 for the day here and then three on brazil all standard work uh, i'll post the uh the chart the charts of the day uh, for the daily reports and Patreon shortly, just to hit a few, uh, of the, few of the spreadsheets that matter. Here's a list of your um, 
symbols that are better than two to one on the uh, from the uh, the Dow and the ETFs. That's two to one uh, auto framer. And then the ones that are squeezed: uh, gold, Verizon, technology, Exxon Mobil, and oil services. Um, the top two, gold and Verizon, are also uh, tightly squeezed on the reward to risk ratio. So they're better than two to one and uh, tightly squeezed intraday. So that those are setting up pretty nicely. All right. That's uh, we'll get their rest of the reports out and posted. Um, I do want to, let's see, take a, we'll take a look at the uh, 30 day market real briefly, if we may. Uh, we're still kind of in the grind. Stand by. We'll get that loaded here soon in a second. Yeah, we're still within uh, you know one percent of the all time high, and so uh, we're ready to trade mostly intraday right now because of the silly season of politics. Uh, we're concentrating mostly on the intraday trades, um, and. Uh, uh, avoiding the volatility at the gap. So we'll get the rest of the reports published and posted in Patreon in the usual way. That's everything we got for tonight. Take good care, and we shall see you tomorrow.